what's up everybody welcome back to my channel before we get started don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can always be notified when I upload so first thing we're gonna do is transfer some of this Afro G liquid into a spray bottle because trying to apply it straight from the bottle is very messy and just unnecessary and I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I use the Dove Intense Repair Shampoo. I don't really use the Afro G Shampoo or the two minute uh, conditioner afterwards. I mean, it's completely fine and totally up to you, but I'm not using that today. So here I'm just saturating the hair with the Afro G treatment and I'm brushing it through throughout my hair so it can be evenly distributed um, and you have to kind of do this step quickly because the Afro G product will get hard on your hair fast so I'm gonna keep saturating it until I'm satisfied and honestly I could have saturated more than what I did but I didn't want to make uh, a huge mess so we're just going to continue to saturate um, until we pull out the blow dryer. So now I'm just going to blow dry my hair until it's completely hard and it doesn't take long for this step at all because whatever is in the ingredients it just hardens your hair super fast even if you're not using the blow dryer which you should but even if you're not your hair will start um, turning hard uh, fairly quickly. So yeah just blow dry your hair um, on low air and high heat. You want to do low air because you don't want to manipulate it too much while you're blow drying. Now here is the most important, one of the most important steps after your hair has become hard is to get a spray bottle full of water and drench your hair before you just douse it into the shower because you can disturb the hair and you might damage your hair because of how hard it is. So I always spray it with water so I can maneuver it better in the shower. And that's the shampoo and conditioner that I use. I use the Dove conditioner just to co-wash it out my hair. And now I'm using this Cream of Nature Honey Deep Conditioner. I recommend you use any deep conditioner that has honey in it or that's just intensely moisturizing because you're going to need to uh, seriously uh, enforce the moisture back into your hair after this Afro Jeep um, treatment. This is one of the most important steps because if you don't, then you risk your hair being hard and dry and unmanageable and you risk breaking it every time you touch manipulate or comb your hair in any type of way so you have to soften the hair back um, before you continue to style or anything else so spraying it with water to soften the product and then using an intensely moisturizing deep conditioner is very important and here I'm putting olive oil on top of my deep conditioner so it can um, just intensify the moisture in the deep conditioner because olive oil is super duper moisturizing. protective style and just leave it alone you want to give your hair a rest after this so it can breathe and that's all I have today thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video